Hi there, buds. I was going through my deep freezer and I found this special butter and I thought that we would make some special cookies for me today. Um, I don't remember when I made this butter, but let's go ahead and turn this into some peanut butter cookies. Um, hope you guys enjoy this little video. I'm not gonna lie, this butter smells like freezer. Like it doesn't smell great, but I'm like, it's already made, it's here. Let's just turn this into some peanut butter cookies and hope that they're good. Um, I thought peanut butter cookies would be a good thing to make with this because I ordered so much peanut butter for the peanut butter balls and I didn't use it all. So we'll just turn this into some peanut butter cookies. So let's get this video started. This right here is the recipe I'll be using. Pause if you need to read it. All right, let's get to dumping these ingredients in. So the first thing we're gonna do is add a cup of our special butter softened. I've had this sitting out on my like dining room countertop in the sun, not countertop, dining room table, you know what I mean. We're just gonna whip this up. That smells awful, I'm not gonna lie. Like, Oof, that just smells bad. It has like a wee smell, but it also is just like, oof, I don't know. We're gonna see how this goes. All the sugar and brown sugar and peanut butter will cover up the taste of this, right? Because this smells awful. that sugar in real quick. While that's creaming, I'm gonna go ahead and get the cup of brown sugar ready as well to add in. Go ahead and add our brown sugar. Okay, it doesn't smell as bad now, it really doesn't. It smells like regular, just like a meaty something, but like it does not smell half as bad as it did first. Now we're gonna add two large eggs. And a whole cup of peanut butter. Okay, now that smells delicious. That smells like straight up peanut butter. I think peanut butter was a good choice for this because I think it's gonna cut the taste of our special butter. And now all we do is add our dry ingredients. I'm gonna add half of it at a time. And now that our dough is completely mixed, we're gonna grab a sheet of plastic wrap, wrap this up, and then chill it for three hours at least. And here's our dough ready to go into the refrigerator for the next three hours. See you guys in a bit. Okay, it's been about three hours later and the dough is definitely very, very firm. And it smells really, really good. It smells like straight up peanut butter. That's all I can smell. Let's pinch these out and roll them into balls and then mash them with a fork and then we'll place them in the oven. I just have a silicone lined baking sheet here and we're just gonna take some of the dough, roll them into balls, and we're gonna place them about two inches apart. There we go. And I'm gonna wrap the rest of this dough up. You can actually store this in your freezer for up to three months, as long as it's sealed up very, very tightly. Um, and then you can thaw it out and roll it out when you want to actually use it. So I think I'm gonna save the rest of this because it is just me and Matt and the cookies will go bad and probably a week's time. So once they're baked, you gotta eat them up. And this is already three, six, nine, 12 cookies. So I think that's good. 
You can also leave it in the refrigerator for up to a week or two if you're going to bake cookies again really fast. Anyways, I'm going to seal this up one more time with plastic wrap and then it'll go in the freezer. And these, now it's time to press them down with a fork. This was always my favorite part about making peanut butter cookies because it's so simple to make a little design. But once they bake, they look so professional. I don't know. Something about it. It's like the universal peanut butter cookie sign. Now that the peanut butter cookies are mashed, these are going to go in the oven at 375 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to do it for 10 minutes. Check it at 10 minutes. You want these to be a light golden brown. And these are my cookies right out of the oven. They took closer to 15 minutes. We will let them cool and then I will plate them up. And I want to smell them. I'm curious how these actually smell. And this is our plate of special cookies. I guess we'll try one out right now. I'm praying to God this cookie is good because I really want to do another video where I eat a bunch of these cookies. So let's just try one bite and we'll see how it tastes just for demonstration purposes. Cheers. These are really, really good. Wow. I think these are my best special cookies yet, like literally. Peanut butter is definitely the way to go. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Um, let me know what's the last special um, item that you made for yourself. You know what I mean? Today's like a treat yourself day. I took a CBD bath, made myself special cookies. This is actually a pleasure to eat. I'm not even exaggerating. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys around for whatever video I come up with for next time for Vlogmas. Bye guys.